my god. Oh my god. It's happening. Nobody panic. I, I see you in the back. You're panicking right now. Stop. Stop. I told you not to panic. Okay. Come a little closer. You've been a naughty boy. Welcome back, bullies. Today we're going to be raising my Lisa, who I've been patiently waiting for to reappear in the shop, just to get that final constellation. It's been maybe two years since I realized I wanted Lisa constellations, and the shop is realistically the only reliable source to get them. Do I know what any of her constellations do? No idea. Do I know how to play her yet by chance? Also no idea. But we're gonna figure all of that out in this video. And hopefully she'll finally get the investment she deserves. So let's level up the original Electro Mommy we first meet in the game. I'm gonna dump a ton of resin into her, maxing out their weapon, talent, ascension, and artifacts, and we'll finally get to test them out. So let's just jump into it. Okay, first things first, I should probably change her skin, right? We're in Mondstadt right now, that's cool, that's fine, but that's Sumeru skin kind of go crazy. Oh my god. I like her hat. Yes, her hat. That's that's what I'm looking at. It's a nice hat. <laughs> what can I say? Time to change things up a bit. <gasps> There's voice lines. We're changing okay. outfits. One more time. Let's do something quiet but cultured. Cultured? Hey, I know what that word means. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't know they had lines for changing outfits. Hold on. Give me one second. I just gotta... Can you check my bow? Since when did we have these voice lines? What the hell is this? My brain just expanded. It's kind of crazy. Every single video... My brain expands 50%, you know? 50% of two brain cells is in fact three brain cells. It's pretty big. Let me show off what I farmed already. So, Lisa's currently level 50. I leveled her up because I originally wanted the free pulls. Don't judge me, okay? We've all been there. Weapon-wise, we've got a bunch of different weapons, including that very expensive cupcake holder, which I've been told is maybe her best weapon. Artifact-wise, I, I don't know what any of this is, but we've got a bunch of different options as well. Constellations, you already know. I've activated two of them, but with the help of the shop, we can finally get the last one. Talents all 111. I think I have the materials for this to level it up. Ballad. Oh. Ballad is maybe one that is in hot demand that I might have spent all of them. And we have some. It's not looking great. I'm going to be honest. But you know what? We can maybe make it work. And then finally, the local specialty. And you might be asking, Vane, what is wrong with you? Why do you have 1,583 Val berries? Um, he just likes berries, man. What can I say? No, Um, pretty much when the game initially came out, there was a battle pass mission each week to get local specialties. And the fastest way to do it is Val berries because they drop four at a time. I am glad we don't have that anymore. I'm going to be honest. Some people liked it. I, I hated that. A benefit is I have a thousand five hundred Val berries. Other than that, I also have some boss materials. Is that enough? That is perfectly enough. We don't even have to fight the boss. Wait, that's perfect. So then we should be good to go. But first, the most important part, we gotta get the constellation. Let's do this. Oh my god. I wish she said something. You know what? I can't ask for too much. A 2D picture of a, <laughs> a character I'm asking for too much if she can talk to. Maybe if I don't take my medication, she might start talking. That's four constellations. She's already got two. Which do we do first? Do we do constellations or level? Let's do level first. And I am an embarrassed to admit, but look at my books. How do we get here? We're down to just 700. What happened? We might need to actually go farm some books, which is criminal. Wait, before we do this, quick, the language. Okay, the original uh, <laughs> reason why she became kind of popular or famous is the Japanese dub. What does she sound like now? Hi, Oh. <clears throat> Hold on, I, I, I can't make this video right now. I, I, I gotta go take a 10 minute break. <laughs> Wait, there was one other thing. I think uh, people climbed a lot of hills with her, but I wonder if that's here too. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this. We're changing her back to English. I'm <laughs> the video is not going to get made if I leave it in uh, Japanese. I'm just going to be honest. Okay, anyways, what I meant to say is let's uh, ascend her. <laughs> if I were to recover my full power, mm -hmm. who knows what kind of things might happen. <sighs> it's not much better. It's too powerful. I... <laughs> <laughs> How could I have ever abandoned you, Lisa? And now she's level 69. Well, that was short-lived. Ascend her one more time. Wait, she's getting EM? Oh, God. I guess it would have been pretty bad when she first came out, but maybe now that Dendro exists, that should be fine. Let's keep leveling her up. And the final ascension, we need six of these and uh, some slimes. I don't know what she's going to do with the slimes. Maybe she's starting a, a slime YouTube channel. I can only assume. What else could you do with slime concentrate? Uh... 
maybe some questions don't deserve answers. Let's uh, let's leave that there. And make, I think it was six gems. And ascend, look at that. Six out of six, 20 out of 20, final ascension. I've already tried to persuade you every way possible. Oh my God. <sighs> Have it your way, cutie. I can no longer go on pretending at this point. Even a hilly churl would see through the act. So be it. Let me introduce you to the true witch mommy. of Purple Rose. Oh, mommy. Uh, mom, <clears throat> I'm Resin Cap. It's time to start farming some books. We love books out here. Who doesn't like books? It's literally so jarring seeing all the newest characters here, literally from the last patch or two, and we're in the starting area of Mondstadt. It's so strange to just think about. The game has really come a, a long way. The game started with hot mommies and daddies, and it's finishing with hot mommies and daddies. I mean, it's not done, but you know what I mean. It's keeping up the tradition. I'm going to quickly use a little bit just so that we're not capped. Actually, you know what? I, I have to find out what this sounds like. Don't judge me. Don't call it Climax. Why do you do this game? <clears throat> okay, I it's too much. I can't handle it. Let's go somewhere. <laughs> there is also, of course, the uh, the main reason people were playing her back in the day. So, you know what? For old time's sake. Yeah, this is the only reason I'm doing it. <sighs> Okay, I gotta, I gotta switch it back into English. We gotta, we... This, this video is about to become demonetized in three, two... It's too late, isn't it? I'm doomed. Let's uh quickly change her glider while we're here. Hmm. I still don't have the Fontaine one, but we do have a lot of other options. I'm teetering between the green one, which kind of looks nice with this outfit, and Loki the purple one, because with her abilities and the purple and the green kind of working together, it doesn't look that bad. The other stuff, uh... This one's okay as well, but I might go with purple. I know it's going to be a weird choice now, but I think with her tiny little purple accents and her abilities being purple, it's going to look awesome. Not that you can attack while flying anyways, but I can cope. In terms of her abilities, most of us probably know because she's a free character. Everyone's seen it. Her normal attacks. I don't know if I've actually ever used them properly. What the hell was that? I, I can teleport. Oh my God. It's like the nothing personnel kid kind of moment. What about charged attack? That's pretty. Not as cool as some of the new characters. They Their uh, charged attacks are so extra, but we also have the E, which just shoots out. What is the range of that? They just went to Narnia. Oh my God. Come a little closer. Don't say that. What is this range? Hold up. No way. Can I hit these guys from all the way over here? Maybe it's a skill issue with my aim, but... Oh, okay. Okay. Don't, don't. <clears throat> Let's try and take two. They're, they're too short. We love our short kings, but... Please. And the last animation. The last one is the Holdy, which is like a completely different ability. Honestly, really cool. I love when game designers make one ability have two different uses. So we have like the tap version, which you kind of weave in your other attacks with. But we also have this, which um looks extremely violent. I wish I was in that circle right now. Oh my God, the cooldown of that. Holy crap, I guess maybe we use that at the end of the rotation. All right, so with her leveled, let's take a look at the weapons real quick and we'll do constellations last, you know? I want to savor this. So in terms of the weapons, we probably go the expensive cupcake holder. There's only two or three characters in the game that can use this. Ye being one and Lisa being one of the others. And you could probably cope <laughs> with some other catalyst use, I'm sure. But the reason why is because here in the passive when using an elemental skill you cause the elemental skill damage of the character willing this to increase by 12 and you can do this up to three times and when you get up to max stacks you also get some elemental damage bonus as well it's actually insane the uh, effect of this weapon and the stats are crazy too only problem is who the hell can proc this outside of yay and lisa maybe a Heizo? is it literally no one i guess just no one can use it <laughs> what is she reading how come every page looks the same <sighs> Who's going to tell her? Maybe that's why the book's boring, because every single page is the same. So in terms of the weapon, I mean, we do have all these other weapons as well. You could probably use any of the battle pass weapons. Witsith is fine as well. Maybe even an EM weapon, but the passive. Maybe it's okay if you use the charged version of the E and you get the cooldown back, but not sure about that. But you know what? I already have the cupcake holder. Okay, next up we've got artifacts and I have no idea what I was trying to cook here. You should have never let me cook because what the hell is any of this? But in terms 
a set. If I'm going to play Aggravate, which I think I will. Aggravate kind of just made all the Electro characters pretty OP. So really we're looking for crit and we're looking for attack and maybe a little bit of EM as well, though I think we already have EM from Ascending, but it doesn't hurt. So let's find my Thundering Fury set. And worst comes to worst, we can Strongbox as well, which reminds me, I uh, in the last video, which I made about Charlotte, I said I was going to Strongbox some Bolide pieces. I feel like with food and Bolide, we could be stronger though. Apparently, <clears throat> there were husk pieces. <laughs> didn't realize. Look, the, the pieces are both shiny yellow. <laughs> okay, actually, they're not really. Kind of. There's some yellow and red, and this one has some yellow and red, you know. Okay, it was light, okay? Cut me some slack. Anyways, artifacts. So we're looking for crit, attack, and EM. This one's not horrible. We've got four crit rolls, two attack. That's a six total. That's a good start for now. Sino has this piece. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, six crit rolls. The HP and the defense kind of sucks, but I guess we take this for now. Other than that, Sands, you probably want attack, but you could also do EM. What the hell is this? Why couldn't you be attack? Or oh, EM on the top. Oh god, the flat attack and defense. I don't think I've seen a worse piece. That is tragic. This one is not amazing either, but... I guess I'll lock it. Other than that, we want electro damage. This is actually pretty nice. Three crit rolls, but it has four attack rolls. So seven damage rolls. What about this one? Six damage rolls as well. So this one actually has extra damage roll. This one has one less, but it has energy recharge. Both actually pretty good. Holy crap, how, how do I have so many electro goblets? Oh, these ones sucks. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend they don't exist. This is like the middle child of the family. I'm sorry if you're a middle child. It's true though. Maybe I could afford to go a little bit more EM, especially because this has the extra energy recharge which will be useful she still does need energy recharge on her team and okay just the best artifact ever four crit rolls one attack two em seven damage rolls all useful stats the only thing is it's crit damage do i have a crit rate version uh, this is not nearly as good okay what if what if am i coping but what if this rolls crit damage and it just goes absolutely crazy right it could happen. <laughs> it's defense. Why do I even open my mouth? Okay, you know what? Let's uh take this for now. How do the stats look? Oh, we don't have a sense. I guess it's this one because the weapon is going to have crit damage and the circlet is crit damage. Okay, so we have 1.67 attack. This is with no resonance. We have 208 EM. It's not too bad. I guess we could go higher. Crit ratio, actually not bad. 70 to 215. Oh no, the ER is horrible. <sighs> Were there any other options? No, that's... Just bad. These kind of suck. Okay, you know what? Let's strong box in a little bit. And we have 61% electro damage and that's without the weapon proc with it proc we gain another 36 so if i just stop if i just start blasting all right so one two wait how do i know if my cupcake is fully charged is it working wait it says 12 extra percent oh i lied <laughs> Okay. The weapon would have been too good if this also went up to three times. Okay, so it increases my E damage by 36%, right? It can do it three times. And then at max stacks, I get 12%. Okay, I was gonna say, if it gave me 36 elemental damage, this weapon is insane, but you can only use it on two characters. It's still pretty good. So that means my E damage does an extra 36% and I have 73.6% elemental damage bonus. So electro damage. All right, whichever hilly troll I see is just gonna get booty blasted into space. The, the shield is actually just the strongest thing I've ever seen in my life. Do it. Okay, only 20,000. That's because my talents are still one, one, and one. So let's level those up as well as the constellations. I think there's still so much to work on. We've got strong boxing some of the artifacts because I don't like the feather or flower. Actually, I lied. The feather, it's okay. I just wish it didn't roll defense or HP. Maybe some ER or EM, but mainly this flower. I feel like we could do better. The flat defense rolls, if they became maybe energy recharge or something. But I'll, I'll do a couple strong boxes a little bit later. Let's do the constellations first. So let's find out what these do. First constellation, she regenerates two energy for every opponent hit while holding the E. Huh. Kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, actually, it's not that bad. You essentially get 10 energy if you're fighting AoE mobs. And how much does the burst cost? It costs 80 energy. Yeah, okay. We might need some energy recharge. Suddenly, the constellation is the best thing ever. It reduces that to 70, essentially, if I can hit people in an AoE. Constellation 2, holding Violet Arc has the following effects. Violet Arc is the E. So when I hold it down, wait, it increases my defense? I thought it decreases it. No, it just makes me a tank. What is this? I guess it's free Zhongli 
interruption resist kind of thing. And I'm a little tanky. <laughs> I guess it's so I don't instantly explode when I start holding down the E. That's nice. Constellation 3. It gives me three levels of my burst, which is actually really nice. Free damage. Why not? We've also got plasma eruption. <clears throat> Did they, uh, they named this one on purpose? <laughs> Lightning Rose will now unleash one to three lightning bolts when it attacks. Lightning Rose is the burst, right? Wait, is this like a Beto thing where I just randomly arced it? Whoa, wait, this sounds really crazy. If it works the way I think it works, that sounds really good. We've then got Electrocute. Electrocute increases the level of E. I think that's a little bit of damage. It doesn't matter too much. What about the C6? Surely this has to be good, right? When Lisa takes to the field, she applies three stacks of Violent Arcs conductive status onto the nearby enemies. This can only occur once every five seconds. So what is this conductive status? or stacks kind of thing. So much reading. When you press the E, you apply a stack of the conductive status and when you hold it down, it explodes it. Oh my God, what is this ratio? So you can do 50% more damage if they have three stacks on them. That is a big number, 609. The burst lasts 15 seconds. Wait, that's crazy. I never realized it lasted so long. Hit by charged attacks, apply violent arc conductive status to opponents. So I guess if I put some charged attacks in there, we can get stacks too and what is this? Opponents hit by lightning rose, so your burst, have their defense reduced by 15%. Oh my god, wait, a, a defense reduction. There's like none of those in the game. This is actually huge too. I guess this is why people used to play Lisa support. But you know what? We're not here to play support. I'm here to blow things up. Wait, the teleport doesn't teleport me for- Wait, it keeps teleporting me back. Wait, I don't want this. What if I- What if I just- Attack backwards. Okay, it's not really working. <laughs> you know, I can uh, weave some E's in. So the first E was doing like 1400 when I crit now, 5000. Oh my God. Okay, so let's quickly heal her up. Let's go do her talent levels. And then finally, let's see if we can fix those artifacts and get something better. In terms of talent priority, I'm guessing burst is maybe the most important, especially because it lasts so long. She's got great stamina. Um, I mean, she's she's got great uptime. <laughs> I guess the other thing is if I have a second electro unit, maybe we just have resonance. And that's pretty good too. That gives me free ER. So maybe I don't need that much. But anyways, talent priority. Let's do this first. Maybe we'll um do burst and E together or maybe burst at one level higher. Let's just start leveling them. Oh my God, I'm out of materials. Today's the wrong day. It's 169. I swear I did not plan that. Okay, let's do the first one a little bit. You know what? I'm never auto attacking. We're only pressing E. I have all this resin, but I can't farm it today. Stinky resistance. So we got weapon done. The talent's kind of done. Constellation's all done. Oh my God, that looks gorgeous. Especially because I, I, I will never see six a five star. So this is my way of coping. Let's see if we can get any better artifacts. So Thundering Fury, make sure this is the set I want, right? And let's um let's just start gambling then. This is okay. Uh, when I say okay, I mean, it's really bad. <gasps> The crit damage is really low, but I'll take it. Okay, and this one has ER, so maybe if it rolls something good there. <gasps> <clears throat> Why is it HP again? Why couldn't it be attack or EM? It's done it to me twice. <sighs> At least it wasn't the wrong set of artifacts. You know, it, it really could be a lot worse. <laughs> cryo damage? Mm. I'm actually going to keep it because a lot of cryo units, they want crit damage and attack. They don't really want crit rate. So actually it's not too bad. <gasps> it happened again. It keeps happening. Oh, and, uh, okay, interesting. We might have got one or two good pieces out of that. Goblets, you know what? They're kind of meh. Feathers, kind of meh. Maybe the circle it could be good. I was just gonna say, if we get a good crit rate one, though we are almost, you know, like 70, 80% crit rate, maybe we don't need it. <gasps> Let's go, what the hell? Mm, wait, this might be good too, crit, EM, ER. Okay, if it goes crit damage, it's literally perfect. Okay, you know what? We just kind of won. Let's go take a quick look. I'm feeling optimistic now. So we've got all these new pieces. We've got double crit and we've got double crit. What's our current piece look like? We've got one, two, three, four crit rolls, but two attacks, so six damage rolls total. I think we could do better than that with this piece. We're starting with two crit rolls already. We just need four. We've got six. Okay, never mind. We have five chances. I was going to say we have six chances. Never mind. We have four chances to... Okay. We're just going to close that one and pretend it never existed. It's kind of like the middle child again. It's uh, it's what your parents said too. They were just like, let's, uh, let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> eh, this is kind of stinky. Suddenly I'm not as happy. This is our last chance. If it rolls ER, could be good. Let's see. <gasps> I didn't mean to use everything. EM and then crit. Ooh, four damage rolls and it has three more chances. Do we do it? I think we just do it. Okay, give me a sec. We're gonna bust something out. Prepare your ears. I'm so sorry for this. 
Oh my god. I think I'm deaf. All right, I'll give you another chance. Can I get a two times XP, please? I'm I'm big brookie. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's it's rolling kind of well. It's giving me hope. I don't know if I like that. Double XP. <gasps> no way. Wait, it rolled so good. 32 crit value, two EM rolls, seven damage rolls overall. I think that's an upgrade. Okay, we take that. So we have a couple new pieces here as well. I think there was one that had double crit. But if I'm being honest, this rolled really well already. This is already 43 crit value. Can we get much higher than that? I don't know if it's worth trying. Maybe something like this, we might end up with less crit, but ER does help. I do need a little bit. Let's see. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's feed in the piece. ER, is it going to be better? I kind of don't want to do it now because I like having the crit, but ER is pretty important. Okay, it heard me. It All it's giving me is ER. Three damage rolls and three ER rolls. If I do switch to it, we're going to go down to three damage rolls instead of six, but I am gaining three ER rolls. And who knows how this last one's going to go? Let's, let's see, let's see. Maybe if it's four damage, damage rolls, it might still be worth it. Oh, I mean, it does fix all our energy recharge issues. All right, you know what? We take it. I need to do what I preach, okay? And I preach about energy recharge being super important. Okay, we're now 55 to 218, but we gain 20% ER. And I think that's actually just going to push us into where we need to be. Because as long as I have another Electro unit, like official with Favonius or something, I think that's all we need. Even if we have an 80 burst cost because of the Constellation, because of the Resonance, because of Favonius, I think that's okay. But that doesn't mean we can't have good crit rate. We still have this piece, which I think was good. Oh, there was this piece. This piece might be good, especially if it goes crit damage on the bottom. That would be crazy. Sure, 16 levels in one go. And... That's not going to cut it for me. That's five damage rolls, which is nice. But I think my current one has... It's got seven. So the other one has two extra damage rolls. So this one has one ER. Even if we landed on a damage roll, I think we're just about even. And I have enough energy recharge. So we really don't need it. Anyways, you know what? I think that's okay. I'm happy with the fact that even though we lost a little bit of crit, it was probably close to like 15% crit rate, which that's rough. That's four rolls. We got about four rolls worth of ER out, which honestly should increase our damage overall. So now is it time? Is it to testing time? I think in terms of team comp. Wait, what does Lisa say when she comes? Uh, I'll keep an eye on you. Uh, thank, thank you, mommy. <laughs> Let's fill out the rest of the team. So I think Lisa buys you is probably enough for my Dendro app and shield requirements. I think we're good from that regard. And she applies it a lot, though I could use Nahida too if we, we wanted more damage. Hmm, let's think about this. Electro unit, I think we could use Kuki. Probably, oh, we could put Raiden in, I guess. But Ye's probably going to be a safe bet. Fischl, I reckon Fischl will be pretty good, honestly. And then I guess at the end, we could put in a... Oh, hmm. So we got two options, I think. I think option one, we do something like this. So option two looks like this. So I think this one, oh, it's hard to say which one's going to do more damage. This one, you have Zhongli, which is Omni Shred, and Nahida will do more damage than Baiju. But here you have Kazaha, which, you know, he's Kazaha. He's pretty strong. But let's try out both. If I can survive with this, I have a feeling this will do more damage, but let's go test out both. But just before we get into the testing, hey, it's another video without a sponsor. At this rate, I'm going to become the Cup Noodle Archon. So why not support the channel for free by smashing that like sub and bell. It really does help out the channel a lot, so thank you so much. Now back to the video. All right, maybe well, let's start with like a bounty, something light, something easy. Invulnerable to dendro damage. I guess it doesn't matter. Aggravate isn't a dendro damage, right? We'll still be okay. You know what? I can test it out on this hilly troll. What's up, man? Yeah. Yar. Okay, wait, why did I only do 400 damage? Hello? What about my E? Oh, okay. So we're gonna drop this, do this, swirl all the elements. I guess I dropped the burst to start. I can't tell which number is mine. I think he's in for more than... A oh, why is she talking so much? Why does she Come double up? Oh, she talks so Come much. What happened to her? Do, do we break her? Why, why does she talk so much? What happened? <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a shock. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. You're in for a shock. Let's go fight something. So if I come back here and I hit you with a one dendro hit, let's see the damage. I think I was looking at the wrong guy. I think it did 35,000. Oh, maybe I should have bursted first, but it might have killed them all. The only thing is, yeah, I think it would have killed them all. Also, my normal attacks do like no damage. Yo, but what if you got a little closer? Come a little closer. <laughs> God, no. I know you're, you're like standing far away, but what if you come a come little, a little closer? closer? <laughs> There's no way she only says that line. Bring back the VA. We need to do more lines. Let me get some energy and uh, let's try to fight a boss, you know? First with this team, but I, I do want to try out the Zongli Nahida version. Surely with two Archons and a Delulu girl with a bird. We could do some damage. You're in for a little shock. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. 
I swear, I better not see it in my, my comments. I've heard enough already. No more come a little closer, okay? Or you're in for a little shock, neither. 41,000 damage, what the hell was that? Huh? Did I see that right? Okay, hold up. She's cooking, what the hell? She's really cooking. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. <laughs> Thank God you are not electro resistant. Okay, wait, what the? Okay, that, that was not what I was trying to do. Okay, and then now we burst. We do a couple autos and E's. Oh, we're at max stacks. Maybe I just hold it down. No, 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 you're pushing me out of the thing. I can't see. I'm dying, I'm dying. Okay, you know what? Baiju cannot hold it down. Man cannot hold it down. He's Your shield was, was not it. Can I try again? Take two, take two. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I would like to burst. Though, oh my God, I'm attacking so fast. I think I saw a 15,000 in there. Okay, wait. Oh my God, I'm dying. No, stop. Okay. Okay, okay, you know what? The damage is not bad, but I keep getting interrupted. We're gonna we're gonna run this one back, but with us only. I told the Primo Jiu Vishap to come a little closer and uh he listened. He 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 came a little closer, you know. I felt it. Hopefully, with Zhong Li, we won't die, right? Surely it's impossible. Thick as hell, he's got 51,000 HP. Yeah, he'll be fine. Alright, let me try this out. Come a little closer. She's saying the thing again. I think I see 20,000 <gasps> Yo, you wanna eat some come chicken? Stop telling them to come closer. Closer, I'm in danger. I am the danger. Let's eat some chicken. Wait, it's not even chicken. What am I eating? I, ju I just ate another one. We will never know what it is. Meat rolls. What are meat rolls? Do I want to know what a meat roll is? What is a meat roll? You're probably in the comments right now. It's a roll of meat, Vane. Use your words. You know, use that extra third brain cell you just acquired. Put it to good use. It's busy right now. It's thinking about monkeys. So hopefully Nahida makes up for the damage loss. Let's try this. So looking at the damage numbers, I think I saw a 20,000 and 18,000. The damage is pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Can I hold this down? Okay, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Let's try it, please. 57,000. Wait, that's without the buffs. They timed out. Wait, hold up. Can I try again? Wait, I, I need some energy. Little baby, please. Okay, okay, okay. We can we can definitely do this. Give me one sec. I don't want to kill him. Please, please. No, 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 no. Don't kill yourself. I can make this work. We're not going to have the Lisa burst, unfortunately, which gives more defense red, but maybe we can make this do the thing. Okay, let's just charge. Is that it? Can I let go? Okay, 48,000, I think. Oh my God. Yo, she's actually kind of good. <laughs> and this is single target. Her best teams are in AoE. Because a little like burst thing just laser beams everyone down. What if I go beat up a chicken? Wait, I can't burst. You know what? I don't think I need to. It's I'm doing stuff to him right now. I'm going to do the hold E now. I think that's max. Oh my god. So you don't actually need to charge it to max. Yo, what is lowering my cooldown? How did my E come up faster? Hold on, I was like, oh my auto attacks. How's that doing that? I I can't understand. I don't understand it. Is it constellation? How am I doing that right now? Is the weapon? Something's giving me cooldown when I I'm autoing. What the hell? I guess we'll never know. You know what? Let's go beat up an angsty teen. So let's do one of these. It hits the outline. I think we're good. Okay, there are a lot of numbers on the screen. <laughs> Okay, I forgot my, my shield stop. Oh, you! Did, did he f just say that? Did he just say that? Quick, eat him, meet him, beat his ass. So without anyone else, we're doing like 17,000, 10,000, 17,000. But the, the main damage is the uh the E, the hold E, which I haven't really gotten off that much. It's kind of scary to use in this fight. I'm not going to use my burst. We're going to save it for the, uh, the next fight. Okay. I forgot how he works. It's been a hot minute, okay? You know, it's the middle child. There's so many motifs in this story. It just keeps appearing. Middle child, come a little closer. Come a little closer again. <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't use these right now. I can't even do anything to him. I guess we can just tickle his toes. How does this work again? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I remember. Oh. Okay, um, I just realized this is all electro, so maybe, little baby, you got this? Please, for the love of God. Dude, does this work? Oh no, it doesn't work. Someone's gonna die, someone's gonna die. Okay, little baby, come on, come on, you're so short. Oh, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do, you can actually do it, you can actually do it. You can actually do it, one more, one more, come on. One more, one more, one more. Charge attack, you have no stamina. Come on, baby, baby, baby. Okay, okay, and then I, T, 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 aim. Shoot the thing. I missed. It's doomed, it's doomed. <gasps> How did we make that work? Even with my skill issue, how did we make that work? Okay, let's do one of these, a couple taps, and then let's drop the nuke. Okay, I don't know how long I meant to hold this to get max damage, but I'm gonna crank it. Did it, did it, did it go off? Oh, it went off. I didn't, I didn't even realize there's too many numbers. Oh my God. Okay. I, I missed out on some DPS because I didn't realize he was actually dead. Boy, boy. Who knew you? Uh, you didn't need an Archon to solve your problems. You just needed a lady with a book. Also known as a librarian. Crazy fact. I really wanted the Baiju comp to work, but it's pretty hard to play when you also want to dodge because you mash left click and E and it, it just messes everything up if you dash in between. But you know what? Let's try one more enemy. And even though her numbers aren't the big... What just happened to my game? What? Okay, I will never talk... Hello? 
slow. He's literally breaking my game. He's too powerful. Shut him down. We're going to come a little closer. Come a little closer. Oh, God. <sighs> We're fine. Okay. I'll give him a little tickle. And he's dead. Just don't mind that my little baby is almost dead. It's uh, irrelevant to the conversation. <clears throat> but you know what? There is one last thing I really want to do that I feel like I haven't been able to do. And it's probably her best strength, especially if you play her in the abyss. And that's kill a bunch of mobs at the same time. Give me a Favonius Brock. Give me a sec, gentlemen. Okay, okay. You guys are so screwed. Does that mean it's at max stacks? Did I just see 40,000? What happened to you? You just turned into a puddle. Okay, the burst. It doesn't do that much damage, but it hits really fast. Okay, you guys. I'm not even going to bother with the burst. We get the three stacks immediately. And let's see. 39,000 damage. Oh, wait. No, I have to. You know what? I need to stack up the E. No, no, no. We're doing this wrong. I can't believe I did this whole thing without doing it correctly. Okay. I probably can't stack all the buffs properly because there's actually a billion things going on. And my brain's pretty small. But we want to make sure to use her weapon as well. Give me a sec. We got to do three little E zappies before we do anything else. Come out here. Do one, two, three. Come a little closer. Okay. And then come a little closer. And then uh, I'm so sorry. 47,000 damage. Okay. Do I have to hold it the whole time? When does it do the most damage? Do I even need to hold it that long? How am I getting cooldown reduction? Who's doing that? Am I hallucinating? Whose ability is that? I'm, I'm sure you guys are scream, screaming at me in the comments like, oh my God, Vayne, it's this one mechanic that you should know. Um... I'm so sorry. <laughs> little tap, little tap, another little tap. Okay, I'm not going to charge it to max this time. Oh, when it touches the end of the circle. You don't need to hold it forever. Oh my God, I'm losing DPS like all the time then. I, I was waiting till the end. Wait, it's kind of awkward. He's been playing the character wrong for the last 40 minutes. <laughs> Just another vein kind of video, you know? All right, but I think that's it. We've got a good amount of testing in with Lisa C6 now. Pretty much maxed out. The only thing, like I mentioned, these talents could probably go up another two levels, if I'm being honest. Right now, it's the equivalent of 277 if I didn't have these constellations. So could definitely be a little higher. Overall, I think we spent a couple million more to level her up. We gambled a crap ton of artifacts. We felt some pain. We felt some victories. In terms of her gameplay, I'm still a little conflicted. I wonder what it would be be like if you didn't have the the cupcake holder especially because it's such a good weapon on her without it whether she would be as good or whether there'll be something else that you can use as well but i'm gonna confess i i do like having her on the team i have been waiting forever for a way to make her usable with c6 and the cupcake and dendro she's more than usable she's actually really really good so i would recommend especially if you do like lisa i mean who doesn't like lisa right <clears throat> i can think of at least two reasons why People would like Lisa, her uh, personality and her cool hat. But anyways, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun playing her. Definitely would recommend trying it out if you are interested and want to do what I did this video. Or maybe you guys have some better ideas for comps as well. Uh, but thank you so much for making it till the end of the video. Make sure to like sub and hit the bell if you haven't already. She's getting sleepy yet. I'm going to make this quick. Check out my Twitter, Twitch and second channel if any of those interest you. And love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video.